you've seen me review the Razer Wolverine Elite Series 2 Gamester G7 SE, and then most of you know I've been primarily gaming on the original Power A Fusion Pro. And now it's finally time to unbox the new Power A Fusion Pro 3. Right away, the actual packaging is pretty intense with all its holographic colors. And then the first thing that really jumped out at me about this controller was the super small travel case. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever seen the original case, but it would fill up an entire backpack by itself. And the main reason I was wanting to test out the Fusion Pro 3 was because of it switching from the paddle layout to a four back button design. So outside of the back buttons, this controller does have three-way trigger stops, onboard audio controls, swappable thumbsticks, and an interchangeable faceplate. But I'm telling y'all, just from holding this controller, it feels like a big step up in quality and feel. They've really done a great job with the texture and grips, and the weight of this one really hits a good sweet spot of not being too light or feeling like a brick in your hand. So y'all make sure to follow to see my final thoughts on this controller, and I'll see y'all in the next one.